Look how straight it is. And I don't have to have super, super, super bone straight here because then it has like zero life. So guys, I've actually figured out how to keep these fine strands straight once I straighten them. Like guys, y'all don't even understand. I will straighten my hair, it'll be bone straight. And in less than two days, it's like, ooh, it doesn't matter if there's humidity in the air or not. Like my hair would not stay straight, but it's been a week now and I have not had to re-straighten my hair. And let me tell you, I'm gonna show you guys everything I do from how I maintain the hair from the time I've straightened it, how do I do it at night. It is no simple feat to keep natural hair straight once it's been straightened. Like when you go to a salon and they silk press it and whatever, I don't know what magic they use to keep it sort of like straight. But even when I straightened my hair at a salon, it wasn't even like giving this much straight, like after a week, it was really starting to revert. But I have figured out what to do and I hope I help you in the process. Let me first preface this by saying, this is a combination, this is not one thing. This is a combination of things that I've been doing and things I've seen others do and I've put it all together to make my own routine to maintain straight hair. First off, the biggest thing that would happen to me when I was straightening my hair is at night, my edges would revert because I sweat in my head. It, 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 it didn't matter, but I figured it out because y'all, the grays are not looking all poofy and frizzy. So I cannot remember whose video I was watching. I was in search of like how to maintain your edges. Like I didn't even care about the rest of the hair. I just wanted to know how to maintain the edges. So I realized after watching num numerous videos, when you use edge control, a lot of the edge control products are water-based. So while you can like apply the edge control and then tie your hair down, because it's water-based, it, you know, it still might start to poof. And at night, of course, like that product is gone anyway. I'm just so excited. Yeah, I just don't understand. I figured this out. I'm using edge control, not only on my edges, but also on this part of my hair, which tends to get frizzy. I got this hair wax stick. It's a bomb. There's no water in this. It's like literally all like beeswax and, and butters and stuff. But you take the the bomb and I'm showing you my nighttime first because this is the, the part that I really would begin to revert the fastest. And you see how it smoothed my edges that fast? Like I would apply this to my edges now here's the superstar of the show because i exercise and that's another time when the edges tend to revert i saw people getting like sweat bands and like those really thin micro bands that absorb sweat which i'm sure they're great but my concern was they would stretch out over time and then i'd have to buy another one so instead i found this band same deal on amazon it, it has that same wick, you know, moisture wicking property. And instead of it being a band that stretches out, it's it's just like an edge layer, right? So I would tie this down here on my edges. I'm not going to tie it because I'm just showing you, but you, you'll get the picture. Like, and because it's tieable, I can tighten it as much as I want. And when I tell you guys, I woke up in the morning, my edges was so smooth and I know I sweated in my head. This kept it down. And the thing is when you work out, once you have this on, you just don't take it off until, you know, the sweat is all gone. And this part of my hair, I'll show you how I do once I also, you know, when I'm going to work out and also at night, it's this literally the same, it's the same exact thing as when I'm working out, as when I'm sleeping at night. Because in my mind, at night, y'all, that's a workout because I'm sweating in my head. One of you told me about this. I do not remember who it was, but you like literally saved my straight hair life. And it is a Bio Silks Silk Therapy Drops. Oh my goodness. This, first of all, I spent all that money on that Color Wow Dream Coat Spray that's supposed to keep your hair from reverting. It did not work for me and it went right back to Amazon. But the Bio Silk Drops, after I've straightened my hair, 
I just add, and I don't live, no lie, I don't care about like like little drops. No, I was like pouring like I poured this. This is a lot, and I would literally first smooth it on this. And not only that, it adds. Look at the shine that it adds to the hair, and it literally just keeps it nice, nice and nice and straight. So I would do that, and I'm not gonna put more on the ends because I already did it like before this video. But and then I would smooth it, and voila. But then. In the nighttime, I use my own Mineral Naturals hair strengthening oil on just the ends of my hair. So I would literally like pump some and I'd work it on my ends. It serves to strengthen the ends. When I tell you guys I've had no breakage, zero, when I would go to like comb my hair with my fingers or even with my like brush, which I'm gonna show you, I was like, no, like zero breakage. My ends are strong. And this is after putting heat on my hair. So I would do that, put it on the ends, and then just rub that in. Then I would take my tangle teaser, which I'm not using this to tangle tease. I'm literally using it to smooth. I will take and smooth this and this. I'm not working it through the ends, just this portion of my hair. The back, the back, and the front. I take it, bring it here to the top, not the very top, but then I use my fingers to do any little finger detangling. I would spin this around, make a tight, tight band to knot. And I showed this in a previous video, but the difference is the silk drops, the edge balm, and the, the the edge wicking scarf and basically i would do this put that on that is not gonna stay i don't care what they say use a satin scrunchie put that on to keep it in place do the same thing on this side and then tie my edge wicking scarf like this and this is how I go to bed and this is how I work out. Sometimes what I will do when I work out is instead of doing two, I will do four. It makes me feel to see that after I've done all this hard work of straightening my hair, it's now, it's, it's now, you know, like reverting back. And I'm like, why is this happening? Like my, I'm sweating. And then the edge control is not making it look any better until now this and this. These two things got my edges like nice and smooth and the bio silk drops is keeping the whole hair from frizzing up. And you know, I get a little body like this from having my hair up in the knots. And so it's just so, I had to share it with you all because if you are struggling to keep your hair straight after you've straightened it, you've got to try this routine, like seriously, try this routine, try these products. I, I am amazed to the point that like, I don't even want to go back to curly hair. Like, I feel like, well, I would never do a relaxer again, but this is giving me relaxed girl hair days. Like, oh my goodness. Like, and my ends are still looking good because I trimmed them myself. In case inquiring minds want to know, this lippy is Juicy Couture. The color is, wait, let me look. Crown Jewel. That's, this is the lippy right here. Crown Jewel by Juicy Couture. But yeah, I'll do this. Twist, wrap it away from my scalp. Now I will sleep in this two, two bunny, you know, two little knots on the top. Um, but the workout is typically four knots just because I really want to keep it very, very stretched as I'm sweating. And it's, it's easier to do when you have four knots versus two. Now I will run errands like this. I don't even care. I still have the star of my show, this. Tie it back. 
this has keep it, it really does keep my hair straight and i did forget to mention was i also use my scalp drops so this is not really about keeping my hair um, straight per se as it is about just nourishing my scalp i use the amyla hair growth serum so i use these drops i just put them all throughout my scalp before i wrap up the hair and then i'll use my scalp massager to kind of really get in there and like massage my scalp this one with the little feet I get in there, massage, and I'll do all of this before I actually wrap it up, but that's not the purpose. These are the three products that keep my ends smooth, the rest of my hair smooth, my edges straight, and everything laid. I will have to preface it by saying this, that it does, it does have silicone. The second ingredient is actually dimethicone. I don't have an issue with silicones, honestly. I, I feel like, Silicones are getting a bad rap. Silicones protect your hair from <laughs> frizzing. Silicones help keep the outer shaft of the hair very smooth and shiny. All you need to do is shampoo it out. It's not like it's gonna block moisture forever. Yes, it's blocking moisture from getting in in the meantime, but if you've deep conditioned and done all the things that your hair needs to get the moisture in, sealed in and locked, that moisture should not escape like really, really quickly unless you have high porosity hair I can't speak to that hair, you know, porosity type, but if you have low porosity hair, medium porosity hair, I don't see why it should be a problem for you to use silicones on the outer shaft of your hair and then on wash day, just shampoo it out. You can shampoo it out with a shampoo that has sulfates. Now I know that sulfates is another thing that gets a, a pretty bad rap. I would not use sulfates in my hair every single week washing it or every however often i wash it and how often do we straighten our hair really right so i straightened my hair um i straightened it twice in december i straightened it i was supposed to straighten it in january for my birthday but plans didn't go out well so i didn't straighten it for my birthday i straightened it for valentine's day so i straightened my hair three times in the past uh three months and i use silicones to help like manage keeping it pretty much you know straight and then what i'll do is i'll shampoo when i'm ready to shampoo i'll shampoo it out the last few times that i straightened my hair i actually didn't use because i didn't discover this method until like really recently but the first two times that i shampooed my hair after you, you know straightening it i hadn't put silicones i just did you know what i was normally doing <laughs> to no avail but now that I, you know, I'm using the silicones to help keep everything nice and smooth. I will just use a shampoo that contains sulfates just to take it out, you know, and then I'll restore whatever moisture is lost with my deep conditioner that is infused with beneficial and nutri nu nutritional oils. The oils help to, um, you know, sort of like really penetrate the hair shaft and help to boost the moisture levels that come from your deep conditioner. As well as you can add, if you don't want to use oils, you could actually add a humectant like glycerin or honey to your deep conditioner or some deep conditioners actually contain a humectant in them. And then you, you know, you deep condition and you add back the moisture that may have been lost during your shampoo with the sulfate process and and that's that's it i've never shampooed my hair with sulfates and then my hair started breaking off like the point of the sulfate is to strip the hair and if you have silicones on your hair shaft you want to strip them away but then you just deep condition and it adds all the moisture back there's really no cause for concern using them i'm just saying that's been my experience i've never had an issue in fact my hair was washed with silicones when i was relaxed and I really didn't even have a need to use silicone shampoo back then. But remember, back then, we didn't know all the things that we know now about silicone. We just, I'm not silicones. I meant to say uh, sulfates. We, we didn't know a lot about that, like, back, at least I didn't. Like, I mean, I'm 55 years old. And I'm, you know, way back when, you know, if you're in my age bracket or older, then you know, we used shampoo. And the shampoo had sulfates. And... It wasn't a big deal. Like we did what we did because we deep conditioned our hair. Okay, I also wanted to let you guys know, if you didn't know already, I have a shop open and I sh share in the shop so many good resources for how to care for your hair, planners and journals. And I also share Christian resources. I just launched two new products. 
One is the new Acts Prayer Journal here, where I explain the whole method of praying through the model of prayer of Acts, which you may find some free resources online, but I'm giving you more than the free in this particular product. It is explaining to you like how to actually implement each one of these um, steps of prayer in this model of prayer and how it was adopted. Then on the hair side of things, I have this resource right here, which is my brand new hairstyling guide. Guys, I put my blood, sweat, and tears in there. And well, maybe that's a little exaggeration. I put my sweat in that. <laughs> and it's hairstyles I've never shown on, on my YouTube channels or anything like that. But it's for if you wear your hair stretched or straight, you can find over 20 different hairstyles and how I do them in pictorial fashion with all the instructions on how to create the styles and make them your own. So if your hair is at least uh, shoulder length, you can definitely do those styles. I'm going to leave a link to these two products that I just shared down in the description box below, as well as the products I shared in the video on how to maintain the straight hair. Let me tell you a story. I'll tell you a story before I go because y'all, y'all like my friends and stuff, YouTube friends, but still, y'all rural people. The reason I straightened my hair to begin with, well, was first of all Valentine's Day, but I really wanted to maintain it because I actually had a girls' night out with my special need mom friends, and I call them my special need mom friends because yes, they're my friends, but I don't think that I would have ever became friends with these young ladies had we not all have special needs children. We just probably would have never crossed paths. But now that we have, it's so wonderful that I have them in my life. We are doing things like going out and getting many petties, having lunch, and we just went out to, um, we had dinner and then we went to a comedy club and I really wanted to wear my hair straight. But you know, I wanted to just preserve it. And it was just so wonderful. Like, anyway, I just want to share that. But guys, I will catch you in my next video. I know I said, oh, I suck. I know I said I was going to be sharing all my like products and stuff. I just need to sit down and, and, and just do it. But literally this video is an off the cuff video. Like I was doing my hair this morning because, you know, I was about to go to the gym. But now it's a snowstorm, so the gym won't be seeing me. I was about to do my hair, and I was like, oh my gosh, I should share with the people, like, how I'm maintaining the straight hair. So here we are. But I promise, in the next video, it's really going to be about the products. All right? All right, thanks so much for watching. And as y'all know, the ones I just shared, these is the go-tos for the straight hair. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you my product suite so that you can see, like, what products that I'm using on a regular because... I know some will remark that like, oh, your hair is growing. Yeah, girl, it is. Praise be to God, it is. It However, part of that reason, let me tell y'all before I go. Here I go again, in the video and then restarting it. Some of you who've been here a while with me knew I got a jacked up cut. My hair was like, it was, cut. this was last summer, like June. It was June of 2023 it was so jacked up my hair was cut it was like up to here when she was done with it and it had been previously almost to my waist so do that math okay now i don't know if you notice it's literally my hair is now not armpit length it is like right like right here now which means it's about bra strap length in the front and it wasn't bra strap length in the front before in the back it's past bra strap length um, but in the front, it was really struggling, but now my front is coming in and I honestly feel like when you're able to keep your hair as straight or stretched as possible, you give it that opportunity to grow without the opportunity of breakage because of all the kinks and coils, you know, of your curly hair. Not to down our curly hair, this is how we were born, but you know when you straight straighten or stretch it out it just it just allows it to kind of just grow a little bit more free without hindrance of you know breakage because of the coils and things anyway now i'm in the video for real all right i'll catch you in the guys in the next one god bless you i pray god will just keep you i pray that he will like manifest all sorts of goodness into your life and i pray that you would grow in a closer relationship with him anyway thanks so much for watching god bless you